Hi, welcome back to Grains of Small Places. I'm Kara and today we're going to be making a crowd-pleasing blueberry spice muffins. So let me show you how that's done. First you're going to want to grind some wheat berries. So we're going to take two-thirds cup of soft white and two-thirds cup of spelt. You can use any wheat berries that you want. Um, that's just what we're using today. You're gonna grind that. about two and a quarter cups of fresh milled flour. So then I'm gonna take one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to mix that in with the dry ingredients. We're gonna use my Christmas spatula. Again, it's my favorite, so just gonna mix the dry ingredients up. Okay, then we're going to use a half a cup of oil this is olive oil. You can use whatever oil you like or have. And do one egg. I'll put this recipe down in the description for you so that you don't have to try to write down everything as I'm saying it. Hi YouTube! Hi! Okay, and then you're gonna put about three quarters of a cup of sugar. This is just raw cane sugar. You can use honey, that's fine. Um, that's just what my family likes. I'm gonna mix that up. This is a pretty quick and simple muffin recipe. Um, you can change it to have different flavors, just this recipe everyone seems to really like. Okay, I'm going to use my um, homemade yogurt. I'm going to use about a half a cup. You can use regular plain yogurt. You can use, I've used my sweetened vanilla yogurt before. It's actually really good. But I'm out of my vanilla, so we're using the plain today. You can use buttermilk as well. This just works for us. Okay, so this basically is going to give you just a basic muffin recipe now. And then you can add your toppings to it. So today we're doing the blueberry spice. And that's the texture I have right now. So I'm going to use my homemade vanilla and I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that in. Maybe a little more. <laughs> As you know, I usually end up putting extra vanilla in there. You're going to preheat your oven to about 400 degrees and you're going to cook them for about 15 minutes. Okay. Then for the spices. So. You're going to do about a teaspoon of cinnamon. You're going to do about a half a teaspoon of cardamom. And this is the one that everyone always says, what is that that I taste in there? No one can ever quite identify it, but they all really like it. Don't go too heavy on that, but that can taste perfumey if you use too much. Then I have some fresh nutmeg 
and I'm just going to grind that right in there. Probably going to want to use about a half of a teaspoon in total, or maybe a little less, because that one also can get kind of strong and perfumey. I can link the uh, nutmeg and the spices below for you if you have trouble finding them. All right, so we're gonna mix that in really good. smells really good. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> after you have that all mixed in, I'm sorry, we're, my family's getting over feeling under the weather for quite a while, so it's taken me a bit to get a video published for you guys. So I'm going to do a cup of blueberries. These are frozen you can use fresh. Okay. Once you see that consistency and ratio. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna get my muffin tin. And I saw this trick on a TikTok or a video or something like that, and it really works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some dried rice in the bottom of each compartment. And what this does is this helps for if you've ever made muffins or cupcakes or anything and it, ha and it leaks through the paper and it gets all oily, this prevents that from happening. Pretty great little trick. Just putting about that much in. <laughs> just enough to put some on the bottom. It just helps absorb all of the extra grease or fat. This is brown rice. You can use, I've used white rice also. You can use any rice. And I'm gonna take my muffin liners and I'm just going to put them in. When you make any recipe with flour, um, there's a lot of different opinions, I guess we could say, on gluten and if it is or isn't good for you. So when you're making muffins and cookies and cakes and pancakes and things like that, when I used to make them with white flour, um, it used to give me this like heavy feeling. Now that we make them with the fresh milled wheat, it now feels like my body is happy to eat it. Um, I don't have that heavy feeling anymore. The bad gluten, I guess you could say, that's right, is because you're eating the white flour. Okay, so you can see these little guys. These are your wheat berries. Okay, so when you're looking at the wheat berry, you can see that there's more than one part. You can see at the end of them, um, these little things here actually, right here. So you can see what's called the endosperm of the wheat berry. When you are using just white flour, you're only getting the endosperm. So when you use the whole wheat berry, you're getting the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. Um, the germ is what houses like the vitamin E and all of the nutrients that your body needs. Um, and the bran obviously is good for fiber and um, stuff like that. So when you're making things from the whole wheat berry, so grinding your own flour, um, that is when now all of these foods we've been told for so long are unhealthy for us are much more healthy for us because now we're getting actual nutrients and fiber and things that our body needs. So. I just wanted to to clarify that. Okay, so I'm gonna just use my quarter cup measuring cup. Okay, 
You can make a little crumble for the top of these. I'm just going to top each one with just a little bit more of the raw sugar. But I'm going to go ahead and just tap these on the um, counter, get some of the air bubbles out, and to even them out. So. I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit of the raw cane sugar on top. You can skip this part. You can add a crumble. Okay. All right. And then these are going to go into the oven for about 15 minutes. And then we'll check back with them when they're done. Okay, they're done. Let me show you what that looks like. They look pretty delicious. They smell really great. And as you can see, no greasy bottoms. Perfect. Mmm, delicious. Thank you for letting me show you how I make my blueberry spice muffins today. And I hope you, if you enjoyed this content, that you'll give it a like and subscribe and leave a comment below. If you have any favorite muffins that you'd like us to try out. Thank you so much for stopping by Grains in Small Places. Goodbye.